Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage, and on today's episode, well, on today's episode, we got an episode for the maintenance series that has been the most requested one from day one. Ever since I started these series, I've been reading the comments section, and you guys keep asking, keep asking. I think it's such a simple thing that I didn't even think it would make content for an entire video. But here it is. You guys ask for it. I'm going to provide. Do not be surprised if you find this particular little maintenance item to be super easy to do. So what am I referring to? Well, the drive shaft on our Forerunners and many other models does have some grist fittings on your U-joints. So what should you do? I would say at least once a year, you should grease it. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you now how. Also, for those of you that are going to jump the gun and go in the comment section and start asking the question about the tool being used in the video please watch the whole video because i'm going to take care of that too i'm going to show you guys where you can get this grease gun and i'm even going to show you guys how you can load it up with the grease it doesn't get any easier than this so do enjoy the video and if you guys do have any questions you can always drop them in the comments down below So we are going to start off with the front shaft, you're going to have one grist feeding in the front as you come towards the transfer case, I like to access it towards the driver's side, it's a lot easier to access and you've got one on the inside and of course the other one on the outside. As far as the rear drive shaft, the story repeats itself, you got the fitting on the inside a little dark in there but as you can see it's in there and the other one on the outside as you follow the shaft along you'll have another one right at the end on the joint itself so small tip here for you guys um, those that don't have the limited your front drive shaft is going to be always spinning like so but your rear one might not be landing where you wish it would. So a good way to go about the rear one and being able to do the same exact thing as I'm gonna show you right now. In order for you to be able to do this, you gotta leave the car in neutral. So that is usually what I do because if say it's facing like so, it makes your life a little harder. You can still do it, but top tip, you're gonna be able to maneuver the rear drive shaft. You definitely wanna get this guy in neutral. Now, as far as the actual greasing on the external fitting, as you see here, I usually go about five pumps and that should be enough. Uh, it's totally up to you guys, but five pumps to me usually is good enough. Now on the scene, instead of doing a double take, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. That's all right, guys. Sometimes they don't want to fit right in, but as you can see, you will know it once you feel the click with this guy. To me, three pumps is more than enough. You should start seeing the grease on the outside. Again, not much to it. Push it in. Three to four pumps. Four, that's it. Nothing to it. Then, just showing you a close up of the afterwards. This is kind of what you want to see. This is actually one pump too many, but then again, 
totally up to you. All that's gonna happen is that this um, extra grease will just end up on the bottom of uh, your undercarriage, which is it's totally not the end of the world. So that's what you're looking for. This is what you wanna do. Once you do find this aisle, this is uh, this is the tool you're gonna need. As you can see here, fairly inexpensive, and yes, you do need one of these. Which one? I'll leave that up to you. I'm not saying which one I get, but uh, that's just me. Now, as far as assembling this all together, it doesn't get any easier than this. The actual gun itself has instructions which are super simple and the tube of grease itself does also have the instructions that you're going to need uh, not to mention it does have an arrow which I'm showing to you here that shows you basically which way you are going to insert it into the actual grease gun uh, this is super simple it's really not that hard you obviously insert this side into the grease gun first once it's all the way in, then you can go ahead and remove the other end so that you can then close the gun up and have it ready for its uh, task. Again, not much to it. Different variations of guns. This is the specific one that I've used. It is Arbor Freight gun. And I have to say, guys, for what I paid for it, there's been six years now it works perfectly fine it has never skipped a beat this gun has greased hundreds if not thousands of forerunners as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video as you can see it is super easy to do it does go without saying guys if you are putting your car in neutral please make sure that the wheel is blocked so that the car doesn't roll on you it is definitely unsafe to get underneath the car that's in neutral and does not have anything blocking the wheels. So you know what I'm saying. Just be careful out there. And also, uh, yes, I do have some boxes here. I'm trying really hard not to show any part numbers. But for those of you that were wondering if it is the wheels, what else do you think it's gonna be? Oh, did I say too much already? Please don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't done so. Don't forget to subscribe and for all of you that have reached out to me and uh, wishing me well as far as my back injury i do appreciate your kind words you guys are like family to me and it really means a lot that you guys were concerned not gonna lie i am not on the percent still but it's life right it's a process it's gonna take some time i just gotta nurse it back to the way it was before i hope you're all enjoying your weekend and I will catch you guys on the next one.